Hi, this is Maginoni, and here's my review on the rise of Arsenal, number three, and Brightest Day, uh, number two, for the Justice League Generation Lost. I'm going to do Generation Lost first. Uh, keep in mind there are spoilers, and so if you haven't read your books, please stop. That, that's going to be a concern for you. I'm going to go kind of quick on these because it's getting kind of late. Got back from Phoenix Comic Con, and I just kind of want to get through this. So, a bit quicker overview. Uh, takes place right after the events of the first issue. Superman comes to the distress signal. He doesn't understand why he's called in. They try playing him a videotape of Wonder Woman twisting the neck of Max, and he doesn't see Max. He doesn't understand what's going on. He's like, Wonder Woman couldn't have done something that she doesn't kill so they basically decide hey you know we need to figure out what's going on we're gonna have to get other heroes involved something big is going on so booster goes to see Batman and Batman's like I, you need help uh, Ted Cord you know the Blue Beetle committed suicide he wasn't murdered uh, you have fire going to see Wonder Woman Wonder Woman's going guy wouldn't kill anybody I don't know what's going on and then she finds out that uh, Fire got kicked out of Checkmate. And they see a wide variety of heroes, same reaction. And finally, uh, Cap, uh, Maxwell Lord sets up Captain Adam. This time, he, he really does it because when they go to, he goes to an army base and then he, he attacks a commander by accident because he thinks sees Maxwell Lord. My God is there, as there's a, just in case Captain Adam goes crazy type thing, which sure enough he did, and then a huge explosion. Now, the team rejoins together again, but they're having I issues, uh, difference of opinion on what's going on. They know Max is behind it, but they don't, they're not really working as a team to try to solve the problem. And you learn that Ice also has an issue with Booster, I mean not Booster Gold, uh, Guy Gardner, and they think that she's a hazard rather than, um, you know, like good, uh, help type thing. Fire goes off on her own, and then Omax are attacking the new Blue Beetle, and to be continued. So what's going to basically happen is these guys who are left are going to go save Blue Beetle, hopefully with Blue Beetle they'll be able to piece some things together and figure out what's going on. Overall, it's n it wasn't as strong as I would have liked it to be, but this is a setup issue, so I'm perfectly okay with it. Uh, you have to I understand that you have to set up what Max has done with uh, when he activated his power and uh, tried to mind wipe everybody. So I think, but I, I really do think it's off to a good start, and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. I just hope it's not going to be disappointing at the end. Next up is the Justice League Rise of Arsenal number three. This one was a trip. I really like this. It took Arsenal in a totally different direction, and I applaud DC for doing this. For those of you who don't know, uh, Arsenal is a daughter was murdered in the uh, or not murdered. I shouldn't say murdered. She died during the um, extreme prejudice thing with uh, Prometheus. And when the Star City blew up, well, it turns out the uh, mother, for all of you guys already know, is Cheshire, the assassin. So they fight, and you know she's upset with the situation. And sure enough, what happens when two ex-lovers get together under extreme circumstances? Uh, they have to have sex, and. What was kind of funny is this, I really had to laugh here because there's this pause and she's like, oh, Roy, it's okay. Normally people, with everything going around, I understand why he couldn't perform. And he's just like, shut up. And he gets on his uh, mechanical arm and he leaves. Well, he has to take out his uh, aggression some way, so he goes off and fights crime. Now... I feel for the guy in that, on one hand, he has issues with the loss of the daughter, and if he can't perform now, 
and now and his arm is also causing extreme pain. Normally, when somebody loses an arm, the nerve impulses send a signal, and they think that their limb is still there, even though it's not, and it does cause the person pain. So what's happening is a combination of that and then a reaction with his mechanical arm. So what happens is he sees a drug the drug deal going down, and he reverts back to his old self, and he scores a hit. So now we have Arsenal basically getting high, and this was like a really a twist and a turn to a character that uh, you know, like you didn't. I didn't expect it. It probably should have, since he has had a history of drug abuse. But I never thought DC would have done something like this. Well, he hallucinates a little bit, and uh, Dick Grayson, dressed as Batman, comes in to save him. And what they do is they end up taking him to a kind of like him and Black Canary take him to like a rehab place. But this is a rehab place for supervillains who have a substance abuse problem and that way they can help get cured and this is the only way that basically he's going to get help they're going to tie him down and they're going to let the doctors do what they can for him and at the very end you have Arsenal hallucinating that his daughter's there now and overall I thought this issue was really a powerful story so far one thing that has me curious is the next issue, Death of a Hero. I mean, is this where now they're going to get rid of Arsenal, or maybe is he going to finally maybe put that persona behind him and maybe do something different? I don't know. I, mean, I think either way the story could go, especially since he now has his new arm. He's not the same character anymore, so we'll see. Uh, I, I'm really, depending on how the series ends, I'm really thinking strongly about buying the trade on this one. Uh, this, actually, this is really surprising, and I'm really was happy with it so far. So, in a quick overview, this is a buy. This could be good. It's a good setup. Very curious to see what's going to happen. Uh, if you have any questions or comments. Feel free to leave it. Uh, tell me what you think is going to happen with Arsenal. Is he going to give up being a superhero, or is he going to overcome his problem and transform into somebody different? Uh, subscribe to the channel, and until next time.